Now we will discuss how to realize a voltage controlled voltage source with gain 1 or a voltage buffer using a MOS transistor. The output voltage should be equal to the input voltage. Now, a MOS transistor looks like this and what we are thinking of is to use just a single MOS transistor to realize this voltage buffer or a voltage controlled voltage source. Okay. Now, MOS transistor compares the gate voltage to the source voltage that is it takes the gate source voltage and multiplies it by a certain constant g m to produce the drain current. Okay. So, the current depends on how much the gate voltage is in comparison with the source voltage. So, we can think of it as comparing the gate voltage to the source voltage. Okay. Now, what do we want from a voltage buffer? V naught must be equal to V i eventually. right? Now, if V i is greater than V naught, then V naught must be pushed up, it must be increased. And how do you do that? How do you increase a voltage? This means that current must be pushed into the output node. Okay, and of course, if uh, V i is less than V naught, exactly the opposite must happen. V naught must be pulled down, or current must be pulled out of the output node. Okay. Now, what really happens in a MOS transistor if uh, V g s is greater than 0, then this current flows from drain to source and you can see that the current is pushed into the source node. Okay. And similarly, V g s is less than 0, current is pulled out of the source node. So, how can we arrange these voltages so that this action happens? Remember, V naught is the output voltage. Okay. So, output voltage must be part of the comparison. What I mean is, we are comparing the input voltage to the output voltage. So, V g s must be either V i minus V naught or V naught minus V i. Okay, any of these things is possible. V g s is comparing the gate voltage to the source voltage. So, it must be whatever we want to compare. It could be V i minus V naught or V naught minus V i. Okay. When V i minus V naught is more than 0, then current must be pushed into the output node. Okay. And here you see that if V g s is greater than 0, current is pushed into the source of the MOS transistor. Okay. You can try out uh, different combinations, but it appears like if uh, you apply the input voltage here, if you think of the source node as the output, then what gets applied as gate source voltage is nothing but V i minus V naught. Okay. And also, if uh, V i minus V naught is greater than 0, then this current is flowing downwards into the source node and it is pushing up the source voltage. Okay it is pushing a current into the source node and it increases the source voltage and it is exactly the condition that you want. Okay. So, this is how we use the transistor in negative feedback. Now, I already knew what the topology must look like. So, I considered only this combination, but you can try the other way around. Now, I took the output from the source. So, instead of that you could try taking it from the drain node. Then you will find that 
you cannot arrange this negative feedback in a convenient way okay you won't be able to do it so when you synthesize a new circuit sometimes you go through different choices which may be incorrect but finally you arrive at the correct one so the principle here is negative feedback and if vi is greater than v not v not must be increased and if vi is less than v not it must be pulled down and so on and how do we increase or decrease a voltage while using a current source we have to push current into a node to increase its voltage and pull current out of a node to reduce its voltage okay so let me redraw this by the way i am starting from the small signal picture of the transistor okay so when we want to realize a functionality such as the voltage controlled uh, voltage source we want to realize some uh, functionality which is a linear function v not is k times vi or v not equals vi and so on so that we synthesize using the small signal picture of the mos transistor now we know a number of ways of uh, biasing the transistor and we can choose any one of them to go with the functional uh, small signal equivalent circuit to come up with the complete circuit so in every one of these cases the functional synthesis is done in the small signal domain the incremental domain and you add an appropriate biasing arrangement you will find that some types of biasing arrangements are more convenient than others and you use the most convenient one okay so again what i did was apply the input to the gate okay and the source node here this will be the output voltage if i do that obviously the gate source voltage will be equal to vi minus v not we knew that between the gate and source we have to have either vi minus v not or v not minus vi so that we effectively are comparing the input and output voltages so in this case it's vi minus v not now we already designated the source as the output node and let's see if it will be consistent now the drain i have not connected anywhere so let me connect it to the small signal ground now what happens if vi is more than v not okay that is v not is smaller than what is required what is desired okay vi is more than v not then current flows this way okay and as before remember at the source there is only the current source so you may be wondering how kirchhoff's uh, current law is satisfied but as with other negative feedback circuits you imagine a parasitic capacitor here and this can be arbitrarily small okay it doesn't matter how much it is the point is if current is pushed into this node it goes into the capacitor and v not gradually increases okay and this is exactly what you want because here in this case v not is uh, smaller than what is required so it will be increased and exactly the opposite will happen if vi is less than v not then v not is too high and this current will be pointing upwards right it will be pulling current out of this node and that will pull current out of the capacitor and the output voltage will reduce so this is consistent and basically the small signal picture we want to have for the voltage buffer is just this the drain can be connected to ground because we are not using it at all the input is applied to the gate of the transistor okay and at the output you can imagine a parasitic capacitor so that you can visualize this current going somewhere if vi is different from v not and the output v not is taken from the source of the transistor so this is all the circuit now clearly in this you can see that in steady state this current here through this capacitor has to be zero i mean really nothing is connected to it as far as dc is concerned so this current has to be zero and how will this current be zero this current can be zero only if vgs is zero and if vgs has to be zero v not has to be equal to vi the output and input voltages have to be exactly equal to each other okay you are familiar with uh, this type of arguments first imagining that v not is different from vi and then figuring out what happens we did this while biasing the transistor at a constant current and we are using the same thing again and now you can see that there is only one possibility here vgs has to be exactly equal to zero okay i have now intuitively shown how 
this particular uh, topology achieves V naught equals V i. Uh, we will analyze this in the forthcoming lessons and see exactly how it behaves. Okay. So, at least by now you should be convinced that V naught will be equal to V i. Okay. Because V naught equals V i, this has a gain k equals 1 and you can see whether it has desirable qualities of a voltage controlled voltage source. That is, the input resistance is infinity and output resistance is 0 and so on. At least one part of it, the input resistance, it is very easy to see. The input is connected to this. Okay, I have not shown the complete source, it is connected to the gate. And the gate current is 0, so the input does not draw any current at all. Okay, So, at least it must be clear from this picture that the input resistance is infinite. Okay, So, that part is satisfied. So, the other part, the output resistance, we will analyze in the forthcoming lessons. Okay.